revolution will be live. 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 What's good, Dragon World, to another reaction, and finally, fella, freaking forever, season three, slash, aka, the final season of Henry Cavill, trailer just dropped today, uh, official teaser has dropped today, and, I, you know, as someone who's not a, who does not know the Witcher series that well, but, uh, been, like, uh, from the games, or I haven't played none of the games, or any of the, or read any of the books, but I did like this show, but I only watched it because Henry was in it, and it's very upsetting that Henry would not be in it more, but that sounded like to, to me the fault of the studios, but of all the studio people themselves. But we're not going to talk about that, the writers and shit. We're not, we're not going to talk about that. Maybe not right now, but we're not going to talk about that. We're going to see what we're in store for, for The Witcher Season 3. It felt like it took forever, though. Like, it takes a minute. I guess they shoot it, and it takes forever to come out, bro. Like... Because what was season two? It was like 2021. It's been like a year and a half since season two, I think. It was 2021 when season two came out, right? Whole 2022 went by. And like, how y'all let so much time go by? Like, bro, I'm, I'm off with the effects. The effects are good, but dang, man. Frick. <laughs> two years? Practically two years to be waiting for a new season? And good. face. Oh, shoot. Go back. They're splitting it. They're splitting. It. They did that. I don't think they did that with the. It's only a month split, but still, I don't think they did that with the uh, last one. But they're splitting it. Volume one, June 29th. Volume two, July 27th. So literally, they're a month apart. Motherfucker. <laughs> I waited two years for this show just for you to split it in half. I mean, I don't binge watch them anyway. I I, I watch and stride. I'm not. I, I don't care if it's if it's they put on on there. I don't binge watch shows like that. When I did it one time, it gave me a freaking headache. I binge watched thirteen all third. Well, when what was it? Was it uh, I binge watched all twelve and a half episodes of of a uh, Daredevil, plus two episodes of Titans at the time. Was season one? I think Titans season one was on at the time, and I binge watched that sh that stuff, and I was like. Bruh, I got a massive headache from watching that stuff. I got a massive headache from watching 14 episodes worth of shows. And why I say 12 and a half episodes of Daredevil? Because I skipped through that Karen episode. I'm like, I'm not sitting here watching a whole flashback episode about Karen's been since season one. That's a story they could have told in season one. I wasn't doing that. Skip all the way to the end. Last four minutes was fire. So that's why I said 12 and a half. Because I didn't watch a full 13. I watched 12 and a half episodes. Part, basically, volume one, volume two is only a month apart. But honestly, I'm probably, probably only going to watch, depending on the episodes, how many episodes The Witcher had last time? Like eight or ten episodes? So if it's eight or ten episodes, that means it's spending about four episodes, volume one, and another four or five. Four or five episodes, volume one. Another four or five, another four or five volume, volume two. Because I don't think they do 13 episodes with this show. I think it's like eight or ten episodes with The Witcher. So they just split it in half, which is fine because by the time they come out, I probably just wrapped up season five, season I mean volume one, because me and my brother we watch this stuff. But we don't binge watch shows. We just be like we might, we might watch one or two episodes, but now knowing that it's five episodes, I mean I went a month for uh, the next show. We'll just we'll watch we'll probably watch one episode a week, you know, kind of ease ourselves to watch one episode a week, so it won't be. Uh, waiting too long for season uh, volume two of this season of Henry's 
final season. It is a. Uh, I will say this, bro. I'm excited for the season because I, I I do enjoy the Witcher season two. Season two was kind of weak. I'm not gonna lie. It was very heavily focused on Yennefer, bro. Like, like some part, some storyline for Yennefer. I felt like, do we really need to drag this on for so long? Also, they really think I care about Yennefer that much. I like Yennefer. I do, but not that dang much. Like, bro, I'm here for Henry. It's focused on this dude. I felt like we kept pushing his storyline to the side, and he was mainly in that house with the other Witchers uh, for most of it. I felt like, honestly, the only time the show was was good was when we were focused on Henry and wherever he uh, started with uh, Siri. 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 I was like, what the, like, what the frick is her freaking name? Siri. So I was not too I was not too into season two because it, it's like every time it comes from Henry, I'm like, I don't care. What are we doing here? Why are we focusing on Yennefer? My magic is gone. I don't care, Yennefer. Like you're just get it back and we can move on from there. There's a lot of focus on that. Now season three, of course, it comes with a it's like a bittersweet situation. Because clearly season three is not the last season of The Witcher. Uh, we all know Henry Cavill have, has officially left the show due to creative differences but i'll say legit creative differences he just apparently just couldn't work with these people who just wasn't really respecting the book or the whatever books game whatever wasn't really expecting that for me as someone who doesn't watch who doesn't read or play hasn't read or played the witcher i don't know much about the story like all i know about some characters and all know the, no all know about the character's existence i know nothing else beyond that but i know more i guess was the show um, but yeah, not too, you know, it's, it's like in the season four, basically now say we're going to have Liam Hemsworth, like Liam Hemsworth, of all the Hemsworth, but <laughs> could have Chris, could have Chris Evans, Some, somebody, somebody else, uh, no offense to Liam Hemsworth, but Liam ain't the Hemsworth that's going to make me sit down and watch The Witcher. I only watch The Witcher. The only reason I, cause I never played the games, never really cared to. Never read the books. Never knew there were books until this, this show came out. Um, I only watched the show for Henry. For Superman. Well, former Superman. <laughs> Don't cry. It's time to cry. Keep it together. But now, he's no longer Superman. And he's no longer Geralt. I am not watching season four. Because I don't care about this show unless it's Henry. I only watched it for Henry. And I want to liken the show as while I was watching it, of course. If it ain't no Henry, it ain't no me. So, you know, once this season's over, I'm not watching the next season. They really think I'm going to sit down with Liam Hemsworth. Liam? You couldn't get Chris Hemsworth? Couldn't Chris Evans? I'm trying to think of actors I could have, I probably say what kept me watching the show. Chris Hemsworth, Chris Evans. Maybe Robert Pattinson? Since he played Batman, I'm kind of more into liking him more now. Maybe Rob Passon, but I feel like it's a bit too much of a commitment. Compared to the Batman. Birds, can y'all come down trying to think over here? Relax. I thought they were listening to me. They're ignoring, they're ignoring me right now. Dickon Montgomery. Dickon Montgomery could have been a cool uh, Garrow. You think it would cast him because he's, you know, Memphis worked with him, so I figured he would have cast him. Uh, Dave Montgomery's a good choice. I think he'd been cool. Former former Power Ranger, Red Ranger, movie Red Ranger. He was awesome. So the ones I can think of right now is only specific actors that I know I can sit through a movie or show with them in it and watch them. If you got one of them, I probably stuck around and watched The Witcher. But you ain't got you got Liam Hemsworth. I'm cool, bro. Anyway, so this is a bittersweet season to look forward to because one I'm excited for the new season The Witcher I've been enjoying The Witcher but I've been watching because of Henry but it's bittersweet because Henry would no longer be The Witcher after this season so it means I'm no longer going to be watching The Witcher so there you go alright y'all there you guys have it what you guys think you excited for season 3 does your excitement for season 3 die down knowing that this that Henry won't be uh, Geralt no more after this or are you more hype for this because you you will see season more Henry or you side are you gonna watch season three more are you going to continue to watch the Witcher show even after Henry's gone you're gonna watch the Liam version let y'all let me know uh, let me know until then I'll see you guys in the next reaction